hello welcome to my channel java code and uh, today uh, i'm going to show you uh, about the j table and uh, j tree uh, in swing so uh, let's take an example and uh, how to change the data of your uh, existing table that is provided by the uh, netbin gui so add a new j frame as usual you know very well you know about the uh, j table actually j table is used to data bind and use for the data bind and also show the multiple data at a time or you can say show multiple tuples at a time so we can use j table in later video uh, session i will uh, tell you how to bind j table with the database but this tutorial take a simple example how to use j table and also change the column of the j tables that is existing is title 1 title 2 title 3 and title 4 the default four column is there so first of all change the model property okay Now comes to the model property of the J table. First to check the property is J table, and after that, click on the model. And when you click on the model, then you get this type of prompt message, or you can prompt a box. So you can expand that prompt box. Okay now the column one is the title one and you can change the column one by clicking on the title so first name last name age and the boolean property so in this tutorial i will uh, i'm going to show you how to add the text as well as the component like the checkbox for the boolean proper for the boolean type you can add a checkbox that is checked or unchecked true and false okay first name last name you can check first name and last name age is approved these are the name of the column of the table is approved okay now also change the type of the uh, column that is string string and the integer and the last one is boolean these fields are editable it means when you run this application you can change the data of existing column if you want to add another row then you can add click on the insert button if you want to delete this row first to select the row first to select the column and after that you can delete the column okay you can move up the existing column so if you want to add some default value so click on the default value tabs and add some default values in the table after that you can add the columns as well as row by using the right side panel insert delete move right insert delete move left insert delete move up and down the rows in the rows is approved it means true if you check the uh, checkbox otherwise false if you unchecked it okay now let's to run this application and show the output run your application yeah okay the fields are editable it means you can add it at runtime like this okay if you want to restrict the editable then uncheck the checkbox 
okay the columns are not editable but the rows are editable then right click on the table and change table contents columns click on the columns and uncheck the editable checkbox after that you cannot edit the data of existing table yeah when we click on the table then does not change the data of the table looking like the same thing we can do with the tree and add some tree items and sub items etc so first of all search and uh, find the tree and drag and drop on your design surface you can check uh, you can see that the default item is there in the tree and first of all check the property is tree if not then select the tree and go to the model okay you can expand the existing table model you can check the root node and the sub node is if sub node is there then one space is given in the sub node or you can say the child node value from existing component you can change it so these are the tree and after in the later video session i will uh, tell you more about the tree and the table so thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel if you like this and also please 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 share this video and like also thank you very much